It's a disorder that develops slowly and leaves family members feeling helpless. We're talking about Parkinson's disease, which has no cure. A local high school senior is doing incredible work to try and help families struggling with this difficult disease. She spends her time at two different high schools and in a research lab. As Chinuher found out, it's led her to an amazing scientific discovery. Yeah, she's a senior at Windsor High School and also goes to the governor's school for science and technology three days a week. She also does research with a mentor at Hampton University's lab and her research on Parkinson's disease led to a finding that could help uh, scientists give them a new perspective on the disease. Like most 18 year olds. When I do get free time, I either sleep. Sleep can be so sacred in her final year of high school. I like writing poetry. I also go um, to my Indian temple a lot. Like most seniors, Anjali Patel finds time for the things she enjoys, but she's far from your average teenager. I spent my entire summer um, reading my mentor's publications and her, um, and her research. Her reading. From the day that I started lab, I kept a journal of what I did every single day. Prepped her for lab work at Hampton University and research on Parkinson's disease. As Anjali explains, there are three proteins involved in the onset of the disease. It's been known all are involved and in how two of them interact. This is where Anjali's groundbreaking research comes into play. The project was based on the interplay of how they how they play with each other in order um, for the disease to actually progress. She figured out how the second protein called tau interacts with the third known as TPPP25, completing this triangle shown in her presentation. Her work. Yes, it's May 13th. That's the big competition. Earning her a spot at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Pittsburgh next month. It's the largest pre-college science fair in the world. Easy to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she has some proud parents. Oh, wow. They've been actually my biggest supporters. And she didn't have to look far to figure that out. Now, Anjali says she plans to go to UVA next year, then hopefully medical school at Stanford. She wants to be a neurologist and also continue her research on Parkinson's. So if you want to hear more about her research, I have more from the interview that didn't air tonight. You can find that on my Facebook page. Chinuhar, 13 News Now.